Hello, I'm Debbie Ellickson. I spent most of my adult life in a locker room covering professional sports as an administrator for pro and amateur sports. There are five things that I learned when I didn't realize I was a pioneer in this arena. And these five things are Number one, hide your emotions. I'm a soppy mess when it comes to emotions. I cried at the end of Return of the Jedi when Darth Vader died. So when it comes to sports and reporting, you cannot show your emotions. You need to do everything in your power to suppress that. Suppress it because, as Tom Hanks says, there is no crying in baseball and there is no crying in professional sports, even when you're fired. Number two, be fearless even when you're scared. My first National Hockey League interview was with a wonderful player. And he had all the patience in the world for this brand new reporter. Anyway, there were no other women that I could see anytime I went to the rink, specifically in the media. I was scared out of my tree, but I couldn't let anyone see that I was scared. When I arranged this interview, I arranged it with a PR director that I would do a one-on-one -on -one with him. I had a whole list of questions and because I wasn't quite brave enough to go into the locker room for the first time, I had to wait outside the locker room and wait for this player. By the time he came out, pretty much the entire arena had emptied out, including the locker room. He was the last to leave. Still, he graciously gave me his time and answered every single one of my questions. The next time I went to the rink, I knew I had to go in. I couldn't afford to wait forever for players outside the locker room. Many of them wouldn't have the patience this player had. So I had to suck it up and go inside with everybody else. My fellow reporters are amazing and they treated me as an equal. So I was in the best city to be covering sports for the first time. Anyway, these players <laughs> were challenging me, I think, to try and figure out what my reaction would be. I did not react to them at all. I carried on as if they were doing what they were doing. The next time I went into the dressing room, I must have passed the test because they were acting as normal as they were with the other reporters. Number three is treat every person the way you want to be treated. That goes from the janitor to the president. There are two people who stand out in my career. Both of these individuals have this gift that when you talk to them, doesn't matter who's around, when you talk to them, they made you feel like you were the only people in the room. That to me is just a special gift. To make yourself memorable, you need to treat people kindly. You need to treat them with respect. Most importantly, I think you need to treat the staff with respect because it's the security people, it's the janitors. A lot of people don't notice them because they're doing their job and they're not necessarily one of the high profile people others are looking for. These people see everything. If you treat them with respect, there's a couple of things that can happen. If you get into a bind, they will help you out. They can tell you things that nobody else will know. Treat people with respect. Be memorable that way. Number four, you do not have to accept unacceptable behavior. One and two 
will help alleviate this experience a little bit. But don't underestimate the power of walking away or just grinning and bearing it. Sometimes when you grin and bear it, puts you in a position of power. It just means it makes them look like a bigger jerk. I've had so many experiences of this, both in a sports arena and in other environments where somebody will do something. They won't necessarily do it so others can see it, but they'll do it to you. Number five, be strategic. If I treat every hockey game with a networking event. I want to meet all the people that I can. I want to learn as much about the people as I can. You never know what's going to happen, but also not sticking to yourself and hiding in a corner. You develop a camaraderie with people. For me, particularly, it put me on a list for fill-in positions and some other assignments. You never know where it will take you. What do you want for your career? Where do you want it to go? So those are things that I learned along the way when I didn't realize I was being a pioneer. 